Okay, now that you've gotten the top two layers done, now you're going to work on the corners. And when you're done with the corners, you work on just the four edges and then you're done. So let's check out the bottom corners. Now you want to find them with if they're in place. Don't worry about whether or not they're turned the right way, just whether or not they're in the right corner. And notice that the red and the orange on these are swapped. So we need to flip them from one place to the other. And this is our move for that. and the red and the orange have been flipped positions so now they're in the right place everything's in the right place and we want to do the corner orientations now and we can spin three corners with this mo one move it turns all three corners counterclockwise and you've got you end up with either one corner in the right place or two corners in the right place if you have two uh, you want to put them over on the right hand side and start doing your move. The one corner that you're not going to spin by doing this is the one on the front left. That one's going to stay the same. So when you get one corner that's in the right position, you want to put that on your front left and then spin the other three. And it'll either take one time or two time doing this until they're in the right place. So we've got the red-green corner is the one that's in the right. And so we're going to spin it once and it'll put all three of those corners in the right place. In the right orientation, that is. Now our corners are done. We just got to do those edges. And there's two different moves, and one of them turns three pieces. It swaps three pieces, flips one of them, or flips two of them. This one will take some practice to learn. So we moved three pieces, and this is a configuration I find a lot. And you put those on the bottom that way. And we'll do our little move again where we rotate everything left. And then we're going to do our move where we turn everything the other way. And you want to put your side that you don't want to move on your right hand which in this case is the orange side. This move is a little tricky. It looks it looks harder than it is though. Once you learn it it's it's pretty easy. And there's the solution.